Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a continuation of the previous video that I have shared, which is uh, on how to use this QGIS 23JS plugin in QGIS to create this 3D map view. So if you want to see how I get this model, you can go to that video and I will link that in the description box below. So in this video, we will go from here and I will show you one more cool tricks that we can utilize from this plugin. So let's get started. So to start with the transect map, I'm going to go back to the QGIS layer here and have my figure drawn ready as you can see from the previous video. And then I'm going to use the PTV tram route to, um, to take the lines from here and here and then create the buffer from there. So here, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click the total editing um, and then I'm also going to select this select feature by selection and then I'm going to select the lines that I want to um, use as a buffer. So I'm going to select these two lines here and then I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy the lines. And then from there, I'm going to create a new shape file. Um, so here is the new shape file layer um, selection and then I can go to the folder where I want to sh um, save my shape file as well and then I can give it a name and then I can change this uh, so don't forget to change this geometry type to line and then the projection as well I'm going to use the projection that I, ha I have here in the QGIS and then I'm going to select OK so here I have um, create a shape file in the line type and then I can again select the toggle editing and then I can press Ctrl C to paste um, the lines that we have copied from this PTV tram root layer. So if I just select this and then um, I hide that, as you can see, um, I have the new um, lines only on the lines that I want to create the buffer. So if I just like this as well, click save. Now from here, we can go to vector and then in the geo processing tools, um, you see this buffer selection, so select that. Um, so essentially what, I'm go what I want to do here is from these two lines that I have selected, I want to create a buffer that catch the buildings up to this area so if you can see my mouse here I'm going to create a buffer that catch these buildings from here so essentially around two blocks each side so here I have um, tried that so to be able to uh, catch the two blocks of the buildings either side I would have to have a distance of two around 210 meters so this also depends on the map that you have. In my case, the distance is around here. And then if I click run, as you can see, this buffer is um, catching um, on those blocks that I want to select here. So what I'm going to do here, um, so if you see this pink buffer, Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the buildings only within this buffer. So it's going to ignore all that buildings that is outside of these buffer lines. So to do that, um, after we have this um, buffer layer, I can go to vector again. And then in the geoprocessing tools, um, we have this intersections um, feature. So in here, um, we can select the input layer as um, the building layer that we have and then we can click run. So as you can see, I have successfully um, have the intersection layer. So this process have successfully been executed. but. If you see here, it has a notification that one of my geometry is invalid. So I have uh, changed the settings, but if you haven't, it won't allow you to complete this process. And if you find that problems, 
you can go to settings and then go to options and under general you see this invalid feature filtering and then i have set that to ignore features with invalid geometries so the default setting is usually the stop algorithm execution when a geometry is invalid and when it's selected um, it won't allow me to complete the execution because my geometry has invalid geometries so after i change this setting then it allow me to um, finish the execution so now if we hide the buildings now you can see that this inter this new intersection layer is showing only the buildings within this buffer and that's exactly what i want to do with this layer so after we have these two layers that we have created the intersection and the buffered layer you can see that there is a symbol at the end of it and this symbol means that these two layers is only a temporary layer. So when you close QGIS, you won't be able to open this layer again. So, and we don't want to do that. So in order to be able to still have this file when we open our QGIS, we have to make this layer as a permanent layer. To do that, we, we can right click on the layer and then we can see this option, make permanent. And then we can click here and then we can um, like the way we create the shape file, we can just have a name on it. So I'll just create a buffer, buffer layer here, and then I can click save, and then I can click OK. And then we can do the same with the intersection as well. Make permanent, and then we can also give it a name. And then we can click OK. So always be careful with that because in QGIS, um, each layer that you have here always have to be um, linked into your computer because this QGIS is work with shapefile and if you, you don't have that shapefile saved into your folder then the next time that you open QGIS you won't be able to open that again because QGIS cannot read your file from your computer. So after we make that layers permanent, now we can go to our plugin here, the which is 23JS and then here we can um, check the intersection layer which is the one that we want to show in our map also um, this background the, the background here um, if you have the default setting it will show like a blue white background as um, I have sh also shown in the previous video and I have changed that to this white color and I did that by selecting the scene settings and then if you go down you can see the background and um, in the default setting it's usually selecting the sky so you can see this is the default setting and I have um, changed that to solid color and I can also change um, the color for whatever color that you want in this case I want to I want it to be white so I have changed that and then I click apply so it changed the background color. To give this building's head, um, like we did before as well in the part one, we can select extruded and then in the height we can select head average and then we can click apply. So as you can see here, we have created the 3D map view for the building within the buffered line. And if we show the buildings, the 3D map view that we have created of the whole Melbourne, of the whole CBD area, and then we um, show only the buffered line, um, it kind of created a focus of the area that you probably want to analyze. So this is one way of um, using this um, buffered line. Also, another thing that I want to show you um, for this buffered line here. In this, um, in the color selection here, it shows only one color. But you can actually uh, do something for that color because, um, so in my case, in the figureground file that I have here, it has a land use data. So in that land use data, um, I can utilize that and then and change the color of this 3D map view here based on the land use that it has. So here in the symbology, if I go to categorize, 
and then in the column section here I can select land use and then if I click classify it will create all these colors based on the zone based on the land use that it has here so in your case if you have a um, figure drawn from other open source map that is not from Aurin it might not have land use so in that case you can either create a land use or you can utilize other things that it has um, from from your file from your data you can um, use that and then you can do the same by creating this categorized symbology so if I click apply as you can see um, here it shows the colors based on the land use that it has so for example this color is showing the capital city zone 1 and then this color is showing the capital city zone 2 and then this red color is showing the mixed use zone so that's how you can utilize um, the data that you have and then also by using these layer properties changing the color of that based on the data that you have in here so if I click OK and then again I enable the previous model that we have created now you can see that it has um, focused down on this area but now we also have that land use feature that we can show in our diagram here and then again I can probably select that flat line and then selecting that Google satellite and then we can probably hide the buffered and the transect line So that's it, this is our final diagram here um, in this part 2 where I show you how to create that intersection, the buffer and also utilize um, the data that you have and create this classify color to show in your map. So this is how you can um, explore with this plugin and, and also explore the intersection and buffer feature from QGIS as well. I hope that this video can help you. And thank you for watching.